It's funny because when I was going to school, I either was going to go to school to become a teacher or I was going to go for, for sports commentating. I did a lot of sports commentating and now I'm to the point where I'm almost a teacher. So it's kind of interesting how my career has developed into uh, teaching and coaching the younger girls. And um, I do it because I love it. And I also think that that critical age of a girl needs it. I started teaching surfing at the age of 15. I got a job um, through Roxy that was sponsoring the Pasquit Surf Camp, which is the one of the first surf camps here in California. And at around age 23, I was asked so much to teach kids that I decided to set like one week out of the summer. And then I was on tour and I would come home and I would do two weeks out of the summer. So I just slowly started doing my own camps and now that I'm home every summer, I gear my summers to my camps. I run 10 weeks of surf programs in the summer now. Really? I'm excited. Huh? Yeah. You're gonna love your new room. It's so awesome. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. It's so cute. It's fun seeing the, the different abilities of the girls, like who's definitely more into it, who's more advanced, who um, really listens. And they're all so different out there in the water. Some are just out there to have fun. Some are really out there to compete and do better. But I try to develop uh, when we're out in the water that it is always fun, number one. Um, but there's always a way to improve and to learn when you're out there in Mother Nature. And uh, I think that comes across in a very nice manner instead of a very strict coaching manner. Um, I think it's good to have strict coaches, but I definitely try to do a bit of both where it's uh, kind, but uh, educational as well for the young girls. Um, you want them to learn and you want them to like it, or I don't think that they're gonna progress with it, with anything in life. So my goal when I put together the safaris is to create like a very well-rounded week for these girls to come out and experience a healthy lifestyle on the beach, learning to surf, doing ocean activities. And then in the afternoons, we go experience different businesses. Um, we go, and then we have special speakers at night uh, that come into the house. So whether it's a pro athlete, a celebrity, um, a meditation, I've had chefs come in, teach cooking classes. Um, it kind of varies. Whoever I can get my hands on, I bring them in and, and have them be a part of the safari. I try to make it a, a different type of a, a program that there's not really anything like that out there. And it's a very tightly niched group of girls that come into a house and live together and really get to explore what they're good at, you know, go over some of the, maybe the issues that they're facing at home and, and try to just create a safe uh, environment for these young girls to really blossom.
Little Jolie started surfing with me when she was about four. She was so little that she couldn't even put her arms in the water um, and paddle on her own. So I had her on a stand-up paddle board and she would solely surf with me. Um, and we did that till she was about six or eight years old. And then I finally was able to get her on her own surfboard, paddling into waves and catching her own waves. And she really took to it. Um, she has turned into this beautiful surfer who actually just loves the ocean. <laughs> so cute. I was like the first one to get in the water and the last one to get out, especially when she just like got me on as many ways as she could. And it was, it was really cool. It just made me feel very happy and accomplished when I first got that. Do you remember your first wave? Mm. I remember one of my first like really, really good waves. And there was like a bigger swell at Mondo's. I was still just surfing Mondo's at that time. I was riding a wave storm and it was my first like kind of big wave, you know? So I felt super accomplished after making it um, because that kind of like opened me for like riding and surfing bigger waves. I thought I was over being internally taken That felt a feeling hopeless from a person you're always chasing Olivia's been really fun to work with because I'm just getting to know her more and more. She's a beautiful soul. She has kind of been kind of an older soul for her age. She's really talented in the water. She wants to do better. And you can tell she's really into it and really likes it. Like she wants to compete more, she wants to learn more. Um, and she really has a good time when she's out there. How to just be a boss girl? Cause she like does everything, and it's just <laughs> so cool. Because like she's never stressing either. Because you like run the tanning thing, you do all these things like behind the scenes that no one knows about, and it's just so cool. I think it's. I so like that a boss girl. You are. It's so cool. <laughs> I've gained a lot of confidence, like not just in the water, but like just in general. So that's like gave me a lot more confidence and like freedom to just like try out a bunch more stuff and be like a little bit more aggressive in the water. So, yeah. it, it's a lot of responsibility putting on the, the programs. I mean, the little kids are one thing because it's you're almost like babysitting on the beach all day. But when you're working with teenagers, you're really trying to instill something that they can keep for life while being a friend and an adult in their life. So it, as they get older and then they start getting into like partying and boys and things like that, you know, you have to be very careful walking that line. Like a change. Okay, Julie. I'm taking I have had so many ups and so many downs, and it wasn't easy being a female professional longboarder. I and mean, it's such a tough career and to make money and pay bills and, and do well in that. Um, it, it made me really strong. It made me tough. It made me learn business. Serving professionally has it's really uh, created who I am, and it makes me look at business differently. Because I've had to wear multiple hats at once, I had to teach myself everything, which I think has made me really strong. But now it's um, helpful for running a business. So. But there's days where it's extremely, extremely exhausting trying to be the teacher, do the marketing, do the banking, do this and do that. And if it was a million dollar business, I could have a lot more people involved. But it's a one person show with, with some help on the side. <laughs> The most powerful thing about surfing, I think, is being out in the water and appreciating Mother Nature. I think it creates uh, a sense of calming 
on you and also a confidence. Um, you know, a wave can come and the minute you get comfortable, it's gonna come and just totally knock you out. And you either get back up and you get on the wave and you try again, or you don't. You get out of the water and you never go again. And I think with surfing, it is so fun and kind of becomes addicting because you want to overcome those challenges out there. And then you can take being out there and building that confidence and learning back to your everyday life. interesting I think um, as I've gotten older and I've gone through a lot of really crazy personal um, things that happened to me that now I just look at people differently and know that there there's always something that happens in everybody's life so trying to be patient and calm with the person I think allows them to relax out there in the water there's just so much fear and anxiety when you go out there because there's a lot of unknown with mother nature so if you can really instill the calmness with the other people out there and let them know that you're right there with them if anything's going to happen. I think it will allow a better experience overall. Um, I don't take my surfing as serious anymore because I teach so much and I'm kind of just happy being out there. Um, I don't have that like crazy drive as I used to, like I have to be at the best swell and I have to catch the best wave. I, it's kind of good that I lost that because now I can do other things. <laughs>